Today we're going to be doing lesson 5 and 5 tenths, adding tenths and hundredths. Why are we adding tenths and hundredths? Well, many times when we add fractions, a lot of times they are not going to have the same denominator. So we're going to begin with fractions that have a denominator of 10 or a denominator of 100, and we're going to see how those are related and how we can do them when we need to add. So let's take a look at the how. Let's say that I have a flat here that has tenths, and I have a flat that has hundredths. And as you know, if I have one tenth, it's equal to ten one hundredths. So let's say that we had two tenths plus three one hundredths. How might I go about solving that problem? Well, first of all, I need to have the same denominator. So I know when I look at 2 tenths on my flat, right here would include this section here and this section here. On a flat that has hundreds, it would include all of these squares. So there's 10 of those in that column and 10 of them in this column. So that means that 2 tenths is equal to 20 one hundredths. And then I'm going to keep my 3 one hundredths the same. And all I have to do is add my numerators. So 20 plus 3 gives me 23. And I bring my denominator over. So my denominator is not going to change since it's the same and all we do is add the top numbers or the numerators. So that's our first example. So let's take a look at our second example. We have 4 tenths plus 30 one hundredths. So what we need to remember is what is 4 tenths equivalent to on our hundred grid. So 4 tenths would include this column. There's 1, 2, three, four of those, and we know that there's 10 in each column, so that means that we have a total of 40 of those squares, and that would be over 100. So now we have 40 one hundredths plus 30 one hundredths, and again, we're going to add our numerator, 40 plus 30, which gives me 70 and we bring our denominator over. So now my answer to that problem would be 70 one hundredths. Let's look at this, this example, 6 tenths plus 20 one hundredths. So 6 tenths is going to be equivalent to what? 6 tenths is going to be equivalent to 60 one hundredths plus 20 one hundredths. So 60 plus 20 equals 80, and we bring our denominator over. As simple as that. So with this lesson in class, we will practice strategies for adding fractions with unlike denominators of 10 and 100. We've got this. Can't wait to see you and see how great you do with all of this work. Thanks.